Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Tomb Raider Remastered, third game, fourth area, London, second level, Help Witch. Um, previous episode, we had to reload a much earlier save uh, compared to the progress where we were in the episode before that one, because there was one secret item that I read about, which was all at the beginning that you uh, only had like uh, five second windows to discover and if not if you didn't uh, see it well i did look for it uh, at the first time i went through it but it was in a very obscure place if you didn't get to it you couldn't get it afterwards so i decided to go back much uh, pretty far and so we did quite some replaying in the previous episode but also made progress and the last progress we had was opening up a chain um, link lock with a wooden mallet and that opened up a hatch somewhere and I have no idea where that hatch is it was somewhere with white tiles. Ah, here it is, nice. So at least I really was wondering whether I have to look for it for like three hours, but we are finding it pretty quickly. So that's nice. But I'm still a little bit worried. We have, we're quite far with the pickups, but we only have three out of five secrets. So. Uh, and now this is another area of no return, a point of no return. And I do think there were still some locked doors from where we came from, so... I have to remember this safe. This is 771. I don't know if it is actually, yeah, this is this one. Yeah, this is actually, I think, a pretty okay moment to keep the safe between point of no return and ability to backtrack. So if we end the level, we still have items missing, then we have to reload that safe, I would say. Uh, over here, there was only a button, I think, or no. Ah, there is also... A lock gate over there, or a hatch. So maybe we can, we will be able to... Get back to where we are now. Some kind of a fancy train cart. A fancy Masonic Illuminati train cart. And then the other hatch, will that be over here? Yes, that's over here. So this will open that one up, I assume. And then we can just get back down to where we were. So what the hell did this do? Except nothing, unless this is... A different area, which it is not. Now the... The hatch that we went through over there collapsed or something. So did the whole level layout change? Because there was some kind of a... Collapse? Or is this just a totally different area? Uh, it looks maybe like a different area. Are these pressure plates? Nope. All right. How are we supposed to get that item? 
if that is a slight, maybe it's not. It looks pretty steep. Ah, it's not. To the left, I'm sure it is a slight. And if we get down there, I am pretty sure we will not be able to get back up. Uh, so this is the end of the level, I guess. So yeah, we do have to backtrack. Because we are far from having all the items. God damn it, so annoying. So, you must be after Miss Lee then? Business, not pleasure. Though obviously not for revenge, man. You've hardly got the face for that. And you have? <laughs> How moronic a question is that, eh? I don't even have a face, man. I came down here looking for work. And what do I get, eh? But Miss Lee's cosmetic company and her lab assistant job. No experience necessary. Good wage. Accommodation with it. Aye. Locked in a flotation tank for days on end, in some fetid syrup. And when we come out, cause lots of us applied like, no face or flesh, man. And a boot and doing the waste disposal shoot here. Presumed deed. Some kind of failed experiment then? Oh, ta, very much. But I, and for added insult, when I tried to take my own life, I found it just didn't work. You mean Sophia's testing some sort of immortality power? Along with her own brand of facelift. Why, aye, man. Everlasting beauty. She's obviously not fully worked it out yet, but she takes the best results for herself. See, I don't care what your business with her is. You can't be any more shiftless than what she is. So I'm going to go out of my way to help you. That is, after you've done something for us here, like. Very generous of you. What do you want? A bottle of that mummy preservation stuff from the Natural History Museum. Embalming fluid? Aye, for rotten flesh you can't whack it, man. The museum's pretty interesting, I'm told. You'll like it. So why don't you go yourself? One of them Egyptian lassies there is a bit pissed off, like, that uh, she didn't get immortality the way she wanted it. And seeing as we've done better than her in that department, I didn't care to imagine what curse we could get given any worse than what we've got already, like. You'll be fine, though, pet. You die easily. Thanks. Right, so we're missing seven items. Let's see. Um, I think one kill. Fucking annoying. Uh, one moment. So this level has... Fifty pickups, indeed. Kills twenty nine. Now oh, we're missing four kills. Nine. We have all the crystals, but we're missing four kills and seven items. Pretty bad score. Wow! I really try to do everything in my. power to be as thoroughly as possible but it's just an extremely convoluted level so if we get down there we end the level now I cannot imagine that there will be so many items still where's that guy? Over here somewhere. Alright, it did sound like a pressure plate over here. Alright, so we still have two, I guess. Enemies to contend with. For 29, we now have 27.
I cannot imagine there will be this many items here. Yeah, and this just gets us to the same level ending. So we do have one, so two enemies, two items in this area after the point of no return. train card I think so maybe we can backtrack ah and that was indeed one of the doors all at the start that still needed to open up so maybe we can indeed backtrack that would be very nice so there is no point of no return so in that sense this level it's quite interesting it's if you have all the time in the world it's super fun that's what fr fr frustrates me a bit I don't have all the time in the world but if you do have it, then yeah, now this one opened up, right? Yeah, and then we are back in the train cart, I guess. Pretty sure if we go in there that it will close up again, that hatch. So first, let's check it out over here. Or is this where we came from? Ah, this is where we came from. Um, anywho, so if we can fully backtrack, then I find it actually quite an interesting level. Just, I, I do like the, um, here indeed it closes up, which is super annoying. I, I do like the here, but now how the hell do we get out of here? That just gets us back to where we were. I thought that something would collapse, but it's just just a lot of vibration just from moving a hedge. But if we now I don't see the point of this weird little train car, to be honest. If we now cannot get back to... <coughs> the main part of the level, that would be bad. But if we can, then it's, I think, an interesting level. The only thing I really don't like is that first secret, where you only have, like, two seconds to, to get it. And if you don't, then you're screwed. Yeah, but now we are back where we were, so. We should be able to get back to the main part of the level, if you ask me, because, yeah, now we can actually, I think. This is, yes. Because that one door opened up, which was part of the main level. All right, I find it quite, or actually extremely confusing, these two hatches and the train cards and how that all works. And also,
just... Where we need to go, it is so confusing. We need to go to an area where there are some rolling shutters, if I'm not mistaken. But how to get there? From here, uh, it's, it's so hard to make A mental image of this place. Extremely extremely confusing. And if you take the wrong path, then you have to backtracking etc if you take the right path if you know where to go it probably will not that far from each other but the thing is having that mental picture it's just undoable almost uh, is this that weird train car that we were just in? Uh, we already checked it out over here. Oh wow, is there something I just totally overlooked? No, right? No. I thought there was an item lying on the floor over there, but it's not. For example, indeed, over here as well, there still is flipping locked door. Ah, no, this is the door with the lock that we opened up, which closed down, closed up again. Don't ask me why. Uh, this was the area with the secret over there, which we already checked out. Why can't we walk over there again? Now we get to the watery section. I don't want to be there. Let's get back to the start. Oh my god. All right. While I'm falling here, I will just double check what was here I think this was the red room where we started yes for the rest there was nothing here I'm pretty sure so annoying I get some screenshots saved message well I disabled 
will be oh my god oh my god i'm pressing left lara not back uh well i disabled all the microsoft and whatever the ground button is all the functionality still somehow if i accidentally press some key it saves a screenshot to windows i want all that crap that only introduces lag disabled but that's easier said than done but um anywho there was one room somewhere but that's the problem don't ask me where with two This is where we just came from. Ah, uh, no. With two shutters and two doors. But I just have no clue where it is. It is such a maze like level. Yeah, no, it's not here. Fuck me, where is that? That's the problem with this level. It is just too confusing. Nothing there. Pretty sure there's also nothing on the other side, but let's double check. Yeah, or maybe it was indeed at the start area. Uh, it's so... hard to figure out. start area with the ticket machines could maybe have been over here but I'm really not sure just to move that crate around so that you could get up there and then we yeah and that if you go up there you just get into the maintenance room and there was something there I don't even remember anymore it really doesn't lead anywhere That is that, uh, or control room, not really maintenance room. Then you had this one. Fuck me, man. Oh. Yeah, which gets in here. So get you nowhere. Yeah, this was just an annoying area. With the time doors. Super annoying. And 
then we add the how the hell do you get out from here we were and we could get a crystal up there the second room allowed to close the gate no yeah there really is nothing much here and I'm looking where the hell was that side area And this really, really is the pinnacle of confusing level design. And still, I do like it for the challenge that it gives. Or wait, was it? Yeah, it could have been the red room actually. And then through a hatch. Let's try that. But yeah, basically the pinnacle of confusing level design. This is like the 30th time I'm climbing up here. And so there is like this one room, the, a door that opened up. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. Controlling, throwing annoyance here. I never threw a controller, but goddamn, it's this game sometimes. Um, anywho, so it opened up one door when we were in that train cart and we pressed a button or something. I cannot imagine that that one door leads to two enemies. We still have two secrets, so I'm afraid somewhere else uh, also missing a secret. And that's the problem with this level. It is just... In Incredibly I'm now randomly trying to interact with crates or walls but it's just so incredibly convoluted yeah I do think this is the area where we need to be Yes, but so I doubt, so I think that door opened up now. I really doubt that that will lead us to six pickups and two secrets and two kills. Here, it's only one secret area. So yeah, we're pretty much screwed. That means I have to Holy shit. That's good. But we're still missing one secret area. Fuck my life.
All right, I have no clue where that was. I think that was again near that train wagon. Yeah, that just goes to the um, the time doors. I'm pretty certain. Where the hell did this go? No. Uh, it could be actually that there is more to this area than meets the eye. Uh, not really, I think. No, but maybe on the other side of it. So if we move this one here. Ah, no, we already were there earlier. There was nothing there actually. But let's check it out anyways. Anything here? Nope. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Um. One kill, one two items yeah we just basically are looking for one secret area what did that Did the hatch open up? The, we pressed the button and it opened up a hatch. But is that a new one? Or is that... Somewhere we already were. is probably way further no. all right exactly what I needed let's check it out what does this show 
pretty sure that is just getting back into that. Hello. Oh my God, where is that? It looks like a train cabin, but all right, let's check it out one more time. Right, how do we get back to the train cabin? And if, if that door, that hatch leads to the train cabin, then it's not really good because I think there was already one secret area at the ending that we Mopped up. Oh, we also had this one. I totally forgot about having opened up this one. Let's quickly double check. Um, but yeah, if it gets us back to that train cart, I don't think. There's a secret area there, it's not nothing new, we already were there. Yeah, this just brings us back to that area that we were before already. God damn it, man. God damn it. I'm randomly running around trying to. Yeah, there's an opening in there. I don't even. Remember this part at all. Now I do understand why people said
that could be an area of interest actually I don't really remember it Any underwater levers to pull? Was that earlier a way to... God damn it, wrong button. To move forward, fall in the water and then continue your path from here. I don't remember that. Or maybe I do actually. I yeah, I must have been here already. Because this gets us to that opening that we saw above the water. Ah, that is just ticket booth down below. This gets us nowhere. That was the whole issue. That this is. We just had to move this crate because it allowed for using it as a ladder to climb up down there. Wow, this is such a confusing mess, honestly. Right, I have to remember this area because I'm not sure, but I find that opening above the water a little bit suspicious. But it could also very well be that is just where the, uh, yeah, the start of the game, so to say, of the level. We just fell down here from up there then the worst case is that it indeed is a um, secret area all at the start and that I basically have to restart the whole level because I missed it I cannot get back up there, I'm pretty sure. So if we can find a quick way to take out Lara now, which I also doubt to be quite honest.
just going to make a shape here. Just for good order. If we can take out Lara quickly, then we can restart the level, and I'm pretty sure that drop with the water. Yeah, this is a quick way to take out Lara. Just have a run over by the metro, uh, but I'm pretty sure that drop is at the start. You only get the restart option after dying. Yes, so there it is. And I'm pretty sure I picked up that item. Yeah, I'm pretty certain I did. I don't even think it is a uh, secret area. It's so annoying. You cannot... Restart the level. It's extremely annoying. Did I pick it up or not? I have no idea. Oh my god, it's so annoying. What is the earliest save that I have? It's a very late one. This is, uh, so we have zero secrets, 10 pickups. I cannot imagine that I'm... Missed that item, because normally I'm pretty sharp, especially when there are like action sequences. At the start, I'm usually pretty sharp with, ah, there could very well be an item hidden here. Alright, let's make this a suicide spot. Is this a secret area? No, it is just a random... Uh, item, I'm pretty sure I picked it up. So it's not a secret area. So now the idea is to get back to that train cart. Maybe something opened up there. There is a hatch opening up, but I think that's just the same hatch to access the train cart and just get to the end of the. Oh my god. Oh fuck my god.
Uh, it just gets to the... Ah, no, this is the right one, I think. Uh, but it just gets to the end of the level. I'm pretty sure nothing new or anything. So extremely convoluted, I have no idea which three of the ways, left, right or in the middle, gets to that train cart. Nope, it's not the right one, that was just a side area. Unless something opened up there now, but pretty sure not. Or maybe it did, let's check it out. So it was a hatch opening up near a very... Low area. Ah, oh, was there a hatch here? Yes! I forgot about it. There was something here. Nice. I totally forgot about this area. Or did I already check that out? Yeah, I think I did actually. Yes. We did. God damn it. False hope. But it was a hedge near a uh, dirt and a crawling height height area. Right, that was the initial way to that, I think, train cabin, which somehow, why that door closes up again, don't ask me, it's so vague everything. Where the hell, ah, this was that side area where you could get a cock, which led to another secret area. Where did this lead then? Ah, here we are. Yeah, so this leads to that train area again. And did this open up? Yeah, it opened up this hatch over here. But this is just a standard hatch that we already used. I'm pretty certain. Yes, this is the hatch, and we recognize the uh, the red striping over there. Now it closes up, don't ask me why. I find it an extremely... fake area or fake um, location, this train thing. Then we press this one, the one behind 
Ah, normally the one behind closes that door, pretty sure. Now it stays open, right? Yeah, but now this one is still closed. I don't think there's anything behind this door. It is just a door that can close off this passage. Here, this just gets us to the ending area. Why all this shit closes up, opens up and closes back? I don't know. Only thing I know is I'm super annoyed that this is probably going to take another couple of hours trying to figure out that last secret. I don't want to look it up, but I, at the other side, on the other hand, I also don't want to spend hours looking for something, which is maybe just like the first secret, a secret area that uh, this was back up to the train, which I still don't really understand. There are two hatches in that train, which we both already used, but this one I think also gets back to that train. But um, maybe it's one of those secret. Items. That is only accessible for a limited amount of time. And then I'm spending hours. This level already took me hours. Then again, I don't. Yeah, it really feels like cheating looking it up. I think there was a secret area over here. Which is now also closed. It's extremely annoying. Ah, and now that we cannot press that door anymore, which I think opens up the hatch to get back out of here. So now there is literally nowhere to go. Except to end the level. Because now we cannot get back up to the train anymore. Uh, I, this level, again, I like the atmosphere, I like the location, but I really not like the obscurity, the vagueness of what's opening up. Yeah, there's no way to get out of here anymore. If you go down there, it ends the level. It starts a cutscene and ends the level. And there is no way to get back uh, out to the main area. Why? Don't ask me. Because that button in that secret area that we saw, if you press it, I think it opened up this one and then we could get back. But now there's a door in front of it. Maybe there's a pressure plate. I don't think so. Just trying to hit all the tiles out of desperation because I have no clue what to do actually anymore. And yeah, why the game would close a door like this, I don't know. It is needlessly restrictive i would say and if we go over here it will just end yeah, fuck it
think that was the way back down but yeah that one is now closed And then we can get back into the ending area where if we jump down we cannot get back out from anymore. Oh my god. still find it a little bit confusing these hatches Long story short, we are stuck. And it doesn't help that some doors that you already opened up, like this one, close after you. Let's double check, there was nothing there. That was when I still had the mallet. Ah, that is in one go the correct load. Yeah, this just gets go gets to that I think. Indeed, it put, there wasn't even anything here. It was just to open up the train hatch. Ah, but what's that? Check it out. That I find that suspicious, to be quite honest. But I also find it too high to get to. then we have to yeah there's nothing else I can do right nice the only problem is we now have all the secrets but we are still missing one item and one enemy So was it the item all at the start? No, I'm pretty sure I picked that one up. But what could happen if that if you make like a mistake and you have to reload?
then it could be that you forget to, uh, if you didn't save yet, that you forget to re-pick something up. Let's just assume we have more or less everything here. Yeah, maybe let's check it out. Did we open up that area over here? Yeah, we did. Because we have four out of five secrets. Man, that one was pretty. Yeah, here it is. We already opened this up with those two cogs. That was a pretty obscurely hidden secret area Anyway, set item all at the start. Uh, when you're sliding down normally I'm pretty sharp on that kinds of things like right, what the hell we pressed the button ah didn't we ah, probably I didn't press the button yet fucking idiot check if uh, we are still missing an item Uh, I will check in the uh, the recording whether I picked it up. Those first shotgun shells, but I almost even remember picking it up. But yeah, then we're still pretty screwed with one item and one enemy. And do I want to replay this whole game, or this whole level? No, really, it would be very nice if that is not needed. Passage ever.
I do think earlier it opened up. Uh, fuck me, do we have to let that guy live for the door to open up? I'm pretty sure I heard something opening up here. Uh, maybe it was the guy that opened up the door. Now we shot him too early. Would not surprise me actually. Alright, I'm really pretty annoyed with again trying to be so thorough and it just not being good enough. Not good enough, core design says to me. Is that door now still locked? Because yeah, fuck me. Fuck my life. So you need to, that's also that's something that you cannot know up front. You need to keep that guy alive to open up that door. How can you know that? Unless there is some... weird pressure plate mechanic here that opens it up, but... no, I'm pretty sure it was just... keeping that guy alive. Oh my god. It's so obscure, you cannot know that as a new player. I'm like, seriously? So, 770. Is the one we need. God damn it, I have to reload. All right, I will do uh, a quick uh, break and a sanitary stop. But I will continue in this episode without stopping now and uh, doing a new one. So um, if you, if anybody's watching, probably not, probably only myself when I'm in the elderly home watching myself play uh, from uh, 20 years ago. But uh, if anybody is watching and you want to continue watching, just scroll a little bit further in the YouTube video and then the, um, the action continues. And so far there is any action, which there really isn't. But uh, we'll see you in a sec.
Right, back at it. Um, I think we are screwed either way, to be honest. Or I am screwed. Because we are missing one item and one enemy even with this item found I don't even remember why I'm now reloading what did I do wrong Ah, with that guy in that door that needs to open up. Um, but yeah, I really want to get to 100%. That means all the kills and all the items. And yes, we now did find a missing secret, but that's not everything we needed to find. And it's super obscure. I do think that the guy that pops out and starts running that he opens up a door and now I'm also thinking that mechanic could maybe happen more in the game earlier that you have to wait before shooting a guy which is totally counterintuitive because normally guys attack you so if you see them you take them out apparently sometimes like over here you have to let the guy run away and then he opens the door Here, now he opens the door and then you can get into that secret area but there was for example one guy ah now there are two guys here so we do have I think all the kills now maybe 27 no I think we're still missing one But that just maybe that there was earlier on the train tracks also a guy running away and I took him out very quickly but maybe he also opens up some door I don't know and that really was a long time ago so if that is a guy that opens up some door where there is an item I don't think so but still cannot rule it out then that would be so obscure yeah, that opens up that secret area and this opens up the hatch again to get back out And this is the, you can only get out back to the main area from here once. Because now, once you are out of here, out of this area, back in the other area, that door closes and you cannot open up the hatch again to get back to the main area. Although I do think, I'm not sure, but I do think that earlier when we were here, when I shot that guy quicker, no, but I didn't shoot him quicker because the first time I was here, he already also opened up that door. But I'm not sure, I've, uh, somehow I remember that there was only one guy here. So now we, it's almost not possible, but
if somehow now randomly two guys spawned instead of one it could be that we have all the enemies which is nice but we're then still missing one secret area which is not really nice and if I am not mistaken let's make So 770 we must remember. I think we need to go here and then to the red room. Yes, so that is like the gazillionth time I'm Climbing this room. I do have to say pretty darn confusing level and this is probably or at least what I've read about not even the worst offender No, there's only one enemy here, so then we're still missing one enemy. Ah, there is an enemy. Right. Yeah. yeah, so now we have 28. Yeah, so we're missing one item and one enemy. Screw it so hard. And the thing is, I'm not sure whether it is indeed... This opens up back to the train. But whether it is indeed um, some weird mechanic that you have to let somebody live for him to do a certain action to open up some gate, where there is an item and an enemy or something, which if you take out the guy earlier, he will uh, not perform the action and then you will not be able to get 100% because you took out the guy unknowing you could not have known that you were not supposed to take out the guy because he needed to perform an action like open a door like the guy earlier did so yeah we're screwed one kill one item missing so there are two things i can do
that is randomly uh, run around trying to find something. Well, I'm really pretty damn confident that I looked in every nook and cranny. So it's probably some weird mechanic I'm not, I was not aware of. Or I can just um, yeah, look up Stella's walkthrough and see if I can recognize any. Or maybe just read up about whether it says like, oh, you have to take out this guy before he, or not take out this guy before he does something, otherwise you're locked out of an item. Um, I do think all at the start, what is my earliest? Yeah, that w I don't even have that safe anymore. That really was an early one where I still had only, was that this one? 10 items. Yeah, I do think it was this one. Then I, I do know where, unless I already took them out, I don't think so. And I'm also... Pretty certain that he is not... Here, this was that first secret area that you really um, need to... Need to know how to tackle. Uh, which you really cannot know first time you go around it, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, there's also like a crystal behind here. I'm now slowly but surely really getting to know this whole area because I've been playing it for so long. So did I pick up that item? Yeah, I would have, right? Now I'm really starting to doubt whether I picked up all the items that I'm now encountering in this early save. I mean, it's quite easy just to miss something, but that medipack I would not have missed, I guess. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. And I don't have any earlier safe. Ah, we're now. Exactly in the same area.
Yeah, maybe it was here. It was, if it is here. No, other side. Where there is a guy that starts running and that I took out immediately. No, it's not here as well. Where the hell is that? Oh my god, it's so confusing. I still don't have a mental visual. Where what is? Is this the same area? No. Here, this is um, where I mean what I meant. There is a guy running. from here and then opening up where the hell is that door there should be three doors so ah no two apparent ah three uh he runs from here and then i'm not sure what he's supposed to do because i took him out before he did anything no All right, here we go. Let's not take him out. But then if I'm not taking him out, I'm pretty sure that... Ah, f hey. Yeah, he just gets into... the room over there so let's not take him out oh fuck me yeah. so this guy really doesn't do a lot i mean he's it's not like he's opening up anything So that is not the um, solution. Alright, what I will be doing, I will probably... Um, yeah, what will I do? I don't know. Looking it up feels like cheating. That's the problem I have with looking it up. We're missing one item and one kill. All right, what I am going to do is just scan through Stella's walkthrough to see if there's anything glitched because I don't want to spend another three hours and then only afterwards really not being able to find anything and then noticing or reading like, oh yeah, it was glitched anyways, because there are glitches in this game. And I just don't have that time. So we'll do a quick check on that um, in between episodes. I will not look really directly for where an enemy or an item may be. It could be any item, by the way. It's even if I read about it, it's pretty low chance that I will recognize it as one of the items that I did not pick up. <coughs> so uh, I will try to find it myself but I am going to do a double check whether or not there is not an enemy that needs to do something super obscure that you literally cannot know um, before killing him so that uh, you have to let him live I don't think 
there are, but there was one enemy here with that last secret area. If you took him out, the secret area stayed locked. You cannot know that. So I was really lucky actually that the first time I went to uh, uh, pass there, that I um, didn't kill him immediately because then first time I was there he did open it up the door and the second time I did kill him out and uh, kill him immediately and then the door stayed closed and that was what got me thinking like ah probably that this uh, door only opens up with that guy still alive so I don't think that mechanic is a second time in the level but yeah I, I don't I just don't know and then what I also will be doing very quickly is check out the first that is I think the um, put the episode before the previous one where we started this level whether i did pick up the shotgun shells all at the start when <laughs> you are sliding b down the ramps yeah i almost don't need to do it i almost not 100 percent i'm pretty certain i even remember doing that so yeah I mean the score is not too bad we have all the uh, the secrets found myself So it is not a terrible score, also considering how many items there are in this level. But it's not good enough, that's one thing that is for sure. We want 100%, not 99.5%. consuming this game can be it's incredible but again I do fuck me man again I do like it compared to all the dumbed down games of modern day so I'm not really complaining but I cannot deny that it's a little bit annoying that you're really trying to be as thorough as possible and it's just not enough pretty damn annoying and also what I have to say is quite annoying Um, 
where was that medipack now actually that's well i was replaying something i was wondering whether i picked it up it is just it's such a confusing level i'm trying to make a mental picture of where that was No clue. It was somewhere. <laughs> this is just where we started. It was somewhere with fire, with flames. This is just the start. Unless there is something here that I forgot to pick up. But there just isn't. I think it was that very early one. I cannot even get there anymore because the drill yeah it was over here I cannot get here anymore Because the drill uh, is already done, so I cannot get here anymore without loading this very early save from where I am. So I'm going to look uh, in the footage whether I picked that one up. I'm going to look in the footage whether I picked up the shotgun shells all at the start. And I am quickly going to read up whether there is not some kind of a glitch in this level. If that is all um, okay then i will be uh in between episodes running around trying to find that last enemy and last item and then once i find it i will show it in the start of the next episode i will start the recording when i pick it up or when i shoot that enemy um yeah so quite anticlimactic we are nearly there but nearly really is uh for me nothing basically so we are five out of five secrets, nine out of nine crystals, 49 out of 50 pickups and 28 out of 29 kills. Um, yeah, so we have to improve that. Uh, hopefully it will not take too much time, but I'm afraid it will. Um, but yeah, hope you still enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next one. And for the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming. Later.